Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for today, the 22nd. So, Friday, this is for the 22nd, but keep in mind the timing is fluid. This is for whoever needs it. That's how these readings go. So, what do we got for today? Go ahead, express yourself. Expression. It's a time of, of speaking. It's a time of showing. Expressing your feelings through actions, right? Through body language, through kindness. So yes, it's a day of expression expressing yourself in a good way. It is in a good way. It definitely is in a good way. It's in a playful way. So it's probably going to be a playful day. You see all the butterflies. There's butterflies on all cards. You know, it's like somebody has broken out of their cocoon, right? Brand new. Free, happy. It's a beautiful day. <laughs> it's going to be a beautiful day. All right, what do we got for today? It is going to be a beautiful day. Well, you know, maybe you're going to celebrate. Maybe you're going to celebrate with your friends. Let your friends happy. Maybe you're going out with your friends. Maybe. You're getting together, going to some sort of gathering. This is maybe a social event. Having fun. It is. It's playful. Yes. Strength. Feeling attractive, looking good, feeling good. Stable. Secure, very uh, comfortable, maybe a little afraid to open up. Somebody may be a little afraid to open up. Maybe uh, trying to protect themselves. Somebody may be trying to protect themselves. Ooh, Six of Swords. Oh, the tower. We gotta love that. But it's reversed. But still, the tower is kind of the same energy as the tower rever upright. The tower reverse. It is. It is. Um, hmm. Now this is transitioning. Somebody may be going through a transition at this point. You know, think about the butterfly. You know, you transition from that cocoon to butterfly. It might be a little scary at first. It might be a fearing, you know, upheaval, fear, fearing disaster. So, so just, I would say go because it looks like you're headed in the right direction. You're headed out of the choppy waters. You're heading, headed out of the, the distress right into, um, a better place. You are. So, just keep going. You're headed in the right direction. Don't look back. Don't let your fears of of disaster or your fears of destruction get in the way. That's a fear. Find the strength to overcome them, okay? You don't have to protect yourself. I mean, I know that's easier said than done, but have fun. Be playful, you know? I feel like today is a day of really just just being yourself just 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 show the world who you are express yourself because that's the ultimate confidence okay be confident with who you are okay
Maybe somebody is finding the confidence to express themselves. Maybe somebody has finally found their self-esteem. You know, you think about butterflies. Every single butterfly is unique. Let your uniqueness shine. I don't know where that's coming from. Queen of Wands reversed. You know, this is lack of confidence, lack of self esteem. You got to come up with a new vision. You know, if the wand is facing down, it's like you, you could be throwing away good opportunities or any potential for growth if you don't think positive. There's negative thinking getting in the way of your own success. Maybe you need to let your friends help you. Maybe you need to go out with your friends. Maybe you need to loosen up. I don't know. We have somebody here who is very graceful, very generous, very beautiful, but this person may not even know it. <clears throat> very negative thinking. Page of Wands reverse next to the Queen of Wands reverse. We got a negative Nelly here. Somebody, I gotta take a drink. Somebody who, you know, a Debbie Downer. We got a Debbie Downer here who doesn't see things as the glass half full. They see it as the glass half empty. <laughs> and they need to change their thinking. They need to be optimistic instead of pessimistic. Spread those wings and fly. Show the world what you have to offer. I feel like we, we have somebody here that is very indecisive about opening up. Oh, the star card, wish fulfillment. It's a time of hope. It's a time of inspiration. It's time to go after your dreams. It's time to follow your dreams. It's time to, you know, believe, believe. Believe in yourself. Have faith. Have faith in happiness. Have faith in renewal. Have faith in peace. You know, have faith in being happy again. There's an, there's an opportunity for extreme happiness here. If somebody can truly leave the trouble behind, leave the negative thinking behind, because these are thoughts, swords are thoughts, leave the negative thinking behind. There's an opportunity for wish fulfillment if you stop trying to protect yourself Find the courage and the strength to spread your wings and let your uniqueness shine. I mean, come on now. This is shining. He's the sun and star, that's both shining. The sun shines, the star shines. Let your uniqueness shine. It's time to shine. It is. 
Somebody is shining bright. They are. That star is shining bright. And this sun is shining bright. Somebody is shining bright. But they're still, they're still got their guard up. They're still protecting themselves. Fear of disaster. Fear of upheaval. Fear of ruining a good thing, right? Oh, God. The Two of Swords. You have to make a decision. Do you want to keep blocking everybody? Do you want to keep pushing everybody away? Is that what you want? Can you face your fears? Can you face opposition? Or do you want to deny? Do you want to deny any kind of emotion coming your way? You want to block all emotions? Or do you want to let happiness into your life? Because that's your choice. This On this day, you have an opportunity to express yourself in a positive way or a negative way. What's it going to be? You have that choice. You can choose to unblock your heart and let somebody in, or you can choose to protect yourself. That's your choice. you got a choice. We have somebody here that is a negative Nelly, and they're blocking anybody from coming near them. They're blocking anybody from loving them, refusing to let anybody into their lives for fear of disaster, when in fact, as soon as they let go of that negative thinking and think positive and let their light shine, they're going to get to that better place that they've always wanted to go. But they can't look back. They can't keep thinking negatively like they have been. Somebody needs to take a new approach, and they're not. They're not. So I really feel like today is a day where there's an opportunity for... There's an opportunity to have some fun. There's an opportunity to lighten up and to just be comfortable with who you are but you're going to have to let go of what you've held on to for so long that old negative way these are both cards of healing right here they are so there's an opportunity to really heal prove that you've healed let yourself shine. There's an opportunity for a lot of happiness here. A lot. Wish fulfillment. But you might have to open up. You might have to open up and express yourself and just communicate. Let somebody in. This is the Three of Wands. Why don't you be optimistic? Hope for the best. Something that you have been waiting for is in sight. It's like you can see it. It's in sight. I know that it is. It's what you've been waiting for. It's what you've been, been getting prepared for. It's here. Now you have this opportunity to get on board. But I feel like somebody is really afraid to let anybody in. But perhaps it's time to finally drop those burdens and, and let it all go. Be positive. 
There's a new opportunity coming in here. I think there's an opportunity for love. It's something you prayed for. You wished for it. You wished for this. It's what you want. You wished for it. You called out for it. You set intentions for it. And now it's here. And now that it's here, you're scared of it. And I think that we have a new opportunity for love that has come in that now that you have, uh, you know, reached that point of breaking out of your cocoon, now you're out of your cocoon, you're beautiful, somebody sees it, and you're like, damn, what are they going to do, freaking run me over with their car? You know, what are they going to do? What are they going to do? You know, you think about that butterfly, what's going to do? It don't last long, does it? You know? I think that there's fear. There's fear of what? They're going to break my wing. What, what's going to happen next? There's fear. Fear of getting too close, them butterflies. You know, they get too close to a person. It's like, damn, good chance it ain't going to last. You know, so I feel like we have this, this person that has broken out of their cocoon. They're free-spirited. They're feeling good. You know, they're flying around and they're looking good. They're beautiful. Everybody wants to touch them, right? Because, you know, you see a beautiful butterfly and it's like, ooh, look at the butterfly. Yeah, exactly. That's what we got here. That is exactly what we got here. We got this butterfly, which is one of these people watching this that is flying around. Everybody's seeing how beautiful and somebody wants to touch it. And it's like, Fly away, fly away, fly away, quick, quick, quick. That's what I see here. Let's get out of here. You know, it's what you wanted, right? You wanted that. You wanted somebody to see your beauty. That's what you wanted. It's what you wished for. Okay, well, now you're in trouble. Anyway, um, it looks to me like, yeah, we have, we have an opportunity for somebody to start something brand new with that Ten of Wands. It's like, drop that past drop the baggage, make a conscious change to let it all go. Accept the new offer, at least think about it. There's an opportunity for love here. There is. But somebody is really afraid of conflict. They're really afraid of getting hurt again. Very, very hurt. Because the last person really, really pushed them away. The last person didn't care about their feelings at all. Whenever they tried to get close, this person pushed them away. Maybe they tried to really hurt them. They tried to break their wings. You know, I think that song, Broken Wing, Broken Wings by Martina McBride, wherever that came from, it just came up. I don't, I, haven't, I don't even know where that came from. This person tried to break the wing in the past. The last person did. So now I'm a little iffy. So I feel like we have a new love connection here that is somebody wished for. It's a dream come true. It is. And it's because you're so unique. But what's the overall outcome here of this situation? There's lack of give and take. Lack of growth. But this could be done waiting. No more waiting. No more waiting right here. Because this is dropping. No more waiting. You've waited long enough. There's no, no need to wait anymore. 
What are you waiting for anyway? And this is waiting. There's no need to wait anymore. It's, I think it's here. But you may not. You may not accept it. This is what this is. Not accept it. Not accept this love offer. Even though it could lead to something solid, stable, and secure. It's what you've manifested. It's a big opportunity. It really is. It is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful opportunity. Something that you could really have for a long, long time. Looks like there's 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 distrust here. I don't trust. I don't believe. I feel like there's an opportunity for happiness and wish fulfillment, but somebody doesn't f trust it. Definitely a lack of trust. There's a lack of trust. There's a lack of faith. There's fear of hidden agendas. There's there's fear of of being misled. But I have to tell you that those are just fears because we get the high priestess reversed you may think this is what you think you think that this person is going to mislead you you think that this person isn't going to tell you the truth you think but i don't know about that but then again with the magician this is the magician reverse this is manipulation but that's you thinking that they're going to manipulate so you know i really feel like Somebody's not being honest with themselves because they're trying to protect themselves. I think somebody's being dishonest with themselves in order to seclude themselves and protect themselves from getting hurt again because they were hurt so badly from this person who pushed them away and broke their wings <laughs> in the past. So they're blocking. This person is still in control. This person is still in control because this person is still blocking anybody from loving them even though they have a new opportunity that could lead to something solid and stable and long term. We have a new op with the five of cups reverse, we have a new opportunity we do. We do. And it is a and look at there's the ace of pentacles and that one's holding the ace of pentacles. Somebody is wanting to work together with you. They're wanting to put in effort to have a relationship with you but you have to trust you have to trust so I feel like today is a day of perhaps making the decision are you ready are you ready to have fun are you ready to be playful are you ready to shine because there's somebody here that sees your beauty there is there is there's somebody here that wants you to give them a chance. But you're going to have to think positive and trust. It may not be the person that you actually manifested. You manifested this person, but it may not be the name. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay? I, this is somebody you do did manifest, okay? But you can't control the name on that person and I know a lot of people try to do that for instance somebody could say I want Cliff I don't know anybody named Cliff but this is I want the Cliff is the one or I don't know Cliff came up for a reason I don't know why Cliff is the one or whoever or Becky Becky's the one you know Becky's happy Becky is in another relationship. Cliff and Becky are in a relationship together and they're in love. They're happy. They're happy. They're in love. But here we have somebody else, uh, Roy. He wants Becky. 
trying to manifest Becky to leave Cliff. It don't work like that. It don't. Meanwhile, the universe hears that you're manifesting love. That's what's going on here. This is, this is somebody coming into your life that is not the name that you put on it. And I know that a lot of you don't want to hear this, but that is what this is. That is the message I have been given. Give this person a chance. They're not here to break your wings. They see your beauty. They see your uniqueness. And it's like they're coming to your rescue. Let them. That is what I have. Good luck.